now, once again, Raymond Arroyo. My next guest was the star of the movie Bella, and more recently, Paul Blart Mall Cop 2. Tonight, he returns to discuss his latest project, A Labor of Love, that deals with faith, hope, and family. It's called Little Boy. In it, an eight-year-old is willing to do whatever it takes to end World War II so his father can return home. He sat down with me recently here in Washington to discuss this very sweet story about a boy's love for his father and the power of faith. Here's my exclusive interview with Eduardo Verostigi. This little boy is an interesting movie. I mean, it deals in faith, its belief. It's got this magical realism element in it that I didn't, I never expected. Where did this story come from? Alejandro Monteverde and Pepe Portillo. Who's the director? The director and the writer. And three years, it took three years of their lives, you know, to, to write a uh, little boy, 15 hours every day. And finally, when they, when they gave me the script, I read it and I was moved, I was touched, I cried, and, and I, I told them, you know, let's, let's do it. <laughs> what was the idea? Where did it, what was the first germ of this idea? Because uh, this is a little boy, his father goes off to war, he's his best friend, his partner, he keeps calling him throughout the movie. You know, it, it, all in his head. One day he was, uh, he was writing another script with Pepe Portillo and two weeks later they, they were very depressed because the script wasn't, I mean the story was not there. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know they were watching this documentary on World War II because the movie, as you know, it takes place in the 40s uh, in a very little town in California in front of the ocean, World War II against Japan. And they were watching this documentary and, and from there, all fiction, all in their heads. Oh. Three years later, uh, you know, again, uh, when I read that, I said, uh, I need to produce this. This is, because you know, when I opened my, my production company with Leo and Alejandro, our first, uh, the first fruit of that goal, of that dream of, of trying to make a, you know, trying to make movies that will have the potential not only to entertain but to make a difference was Bella. Right. So after Bella, I was waiting for, for, another, for another project, for another mm -hmm. story that will somehow, you know, will, will change people's lives for the better because that's my hope as a filmmaker, mm -hmm. that when people see our movies, they leave the theater not only entertained but, you know, inspired to love more and judge less, inspired to forgive more and complain less, inspired mm -hmm. to do great things with their lives, right? And Little Boy has all that and more. Yeah. And that's why I, I just went crazy. And I said to Alejandro, you know what? I, I, I want to do this. And he said, he said to me, go and raise the money. <laughs> <laughs> and off you did. But the hardest thing was not just to raise the money. I mean, that was a miracle, of yeah. course. You know, it, it's the most expensive film, independent film in history, shot in Mexico. Wow. Uh, the hardest thing was to find the little boy. Huh. We saw like thousand kids, Raymond. Thousand kids, because the casting director told us you can make a lot of mistakes in this movie, but the, but the one mistake that you cannot make is to cast, cast the, the wrong, wrong kid, kid because the entire movie will collapse. Mm. So we're like looking at you know kids in Texas, in New York, in California. Finally, one day we saw thirty kids in line, and and Jacob Salvati, uh -huh. little boy now, little he boy. was there with the long hair. He looked like a surfer. He was you know joking around, playing playing with everyone. When we finished the auditions, um, we find out that actually he was not there to do an audition. He was there with his older brother who has autism, he was autistic. And, and, and somehow the doctors recommended uh, his parents to take him to auditions as a therapy because he has an amazing photography memory. So the younger brother was there just waiting. So Alejandro said, I want to see this kid. So the casting director, you know, you got to be kidding me. I mean, this. This kid is only seven years old. I mean, uh -huh. you should be looking for someone that is 11 who looks uh -huh. like seven uh -huh. because you want the maturity. No, no, I want to see this kid. So we saw Jacob for nine times, nine callbacks. Mm. And at the end, we gave him the hardest scene. He came back prepared. Everybody was crying. Alejandro, stop, stop. You're a little boy. This is your movie. This is your movie. The kid is looking at us like with his mouth open and his older brother starts crying. Oh. And we're like, oh my gosh, he's jealous. No, no, I'm, I'm trying to fix things. You know, this is for both of you. The whole movie is for the mm -hmm. whole family. And he's yeah. looking at us and he's saying, you don't understand, sir. We're very thankful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We're very poor. And then we find out that in real life, they were losing their home. Wow. So the older brother was thankful because his younger brother, Jacob, mm -hmm. saved their home in real life. How? How are you going to bring dad back, you idiot? Like, like, what's the mustard seed? You can move a mountain. Fine.
Want to move a mountain? There's one. Go ahead. Move it. Move it! Move it for everyone! performance and he is the heart of it and he's surrounded by great people yeah. you've got Tom Wilkerson you've got Emma uh, Watson, Emma Watson Kevin you've James. got Kevin James yourself I mean it's an amazing cast David Henry who is an David amazing Henry. actor you know who had a this was he says this saved his life mm -hmm. this movie changed his life helped him rediscover his yeah. faith what did it do to your life well you know what uh, when I read the script I felt like I'm from a very small, uh, very small town, just like little boy. Mm -hmm. I was the underdog. All my mm -hmm. friends were, you know, older than me and bigger than me. So I know what bullying, you know, <laughs> being bullied. And uh, but I'm, I'm a big dreamer, just like little boy. This movie changed your life because this movie is the sign, Raymond. It's the sign to wake up the little boy that we all have in our hearts. That somehow, when we grew up, when we grew up, he falls asleep. Yeah. And what I mean by that is the capacity to love big, to dream big, to forgive mm -hmm. big, to, to, to serve big. And, and, and sometimes, you know, it's very easy to lose hope and very easy to, like, you know, give up because whatever you're dreaming, yeah. the mountain is too big and you can't move that mountain, right? Mm -hmm. And these little boys somehow help you to never, never give up and never, never lose you know, faith and hope yeah. in what you're trying to do. And it really is about belief. And your your character, Father mm. Crispin, is sort <laughs> of a straight-laced, yeah. cassock-wearing. I have to say, this is one of the spectacularly mm. bad mm. haircuts in maybe <laughs> all of Actually, cinema. you won't recognize me. <laughs> yeah. David Goliath with the little stone. That's what we need, my friends, in these difficult times. So, like Father Oliver used to ask, what can we do? What can we do for our relatives at war? What can we do if we are here and they are there? And the answer is, if we have faith the size of a mustard seed, we can move a mountain. If we can move a mountain, then nothing will be impossible for us, not even ending this war. And having our loved ones back, I already knew someone who could move a mountain. I wondered if the source of his powers was a mustard seed. And the entire movie is this kid, this kid trying to, uh, you know, this little boy trying to achieve the impossible, yeah. which is to end World War II, so he can bring his father back home alive. And he really believes, the kid really believes, oh. literally he goes and finds he a mustard seed. Most, uh, he is the mustard seed himself, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful mm -hmm. film. Now later, the other priest in the film, mm -hmm. Father Oliver, Tom Wilkerson, mm -hmm. uh, gives the little boy a list of things mm. he should do if he really wants the to bring his father list. back. What are they? The ancient list, feed the hunger. You the know, corporal works of mercy. Exactly. The corporal works of mercy, you know, feed the hunger, visit those who are in prison, mm -hmm. visit the sick, bury the dead, etc. Clothe the naked. Clothe the naked. And, and you know what, uh, Raymond, as you know, especially young people, we have this tendency, this inclination to imitate what we see in film or television. Mm -hmm. And if that is truth, my hope is that when people see little boy, they will, the audience will imitate the little boy list. Mm -hmm. And so we want to make sure that everyone who sees this movie, we want to challenge everyone to do the list because I guarantee you that if we do the list, we make this world a better place. Mm. It has a fantastical, uh, almost fable-like quality. That's what mm -hmm. I, I was so fascinated mm -hmm. by, visually and otherwise. I mean, we go into his imagination, we see this whole world from mm -hmm. a child's point yeah. of view, and I don't want to ruin it by saying mm -hmm. any more, but it's an amazing uh, but, kind of exploration and balance between a childlike faith yes. and that wonder and um, uh, sensibility that's willing to accept wonder. Yes. So what are you working on now? I know you were just in Mall Cop, mm -hmm. and now, now you've got Little Boy. What else? Well, you know what? Right now, I'm just focusing on Little Boy, Little Boy, and Little Boy. I eat Little Boy. I drink with Little Boy. I wake mm -hmm. up with... It, it's, it's, Five years of my life, Raymond. Mm -hmm. Five years of my life for one hour, 40 minutes of your time, and I hope my movie, our movie, will touch your heart. Hey, where's your cane, Tiny Tim? Yeah, it's really too soon to make any diagnosis. Let's just say you're a little boy. My story takes place on the home front, 
That's my dad. I wanted to be just like him. Everything we did became a great adventure. Do you believe we can do this? Yes, I believe we can do this! Partner, do you believe you can do this? I believe I can do this! Pepper, Flint, Busby, it's time to go to bed. Always good in the old Busby home. Or so I thought. You're going to war. Yes. I don't want you to go. Why can't we stay together? The moment of truth. I am searching for the chosen one. Me! You. The movement of an object to inner power. Do you believe you can do this? <laughs> You wanted the bottle to move so much. It moved. Your faith is powerful. But if I get enough faith, nothing's impossible, right? Even bringing my dad home? Your faith won't work if you have even the slightest bit of doubt. Want to move a mountain? There's one. Go ahead. Move it. <gasps> Was that an earthquake? It's a miracle. It's up to you to achieve the impossible. It takes courage to believe. This week, Verastig had a chance to share his film with a pretty important moviegoer. He brought a Spanish language version to Pope Francis and even scored a hug. He looks like a little boy in that shot. A little Boy, produced by Eduardo Verastegui, starring Tom Wilkinson, Kevin James, and others, opens in theaters everywhere on Friday, April 24th. Be sure to see this wonderful film.